We have produced a film promotion package of three products, a film trailer, front cover of a film magazine and a film poster. These were all produced to help advertise and promote our film. The conventions of a trailer. Trailers often have big budgets because film studios understand that the trailer is one of the most important ways of creating immediate interest in a film before it is released. <coughs> like posters, there are often several versions of trailers made. The early ones are known as teaser trailers because they are meant to tease audiences with only a few exciting details. Closer to the release date, trailers give more information, including the all-important release date. Trailers include key moments on the film which are not placed in order. They appear in the film in the film sequence, and they do not give away crucial plot details. The title, the title will appear at the end of the trailer, often followed by the all-important release date. The names of the main actors are also featured in the trailer. This is important as it lets the audience know who they can expect to see in the film. Potential audience members will often decide whether they want to see a film depending on who stars in it. Many mainstream films use strong voiceovers to draw your attention to the key point of the film. We all wrote three acts for our mini narrative for our min for, blah. We all wrote three acts for our mini narrative for our trailer. This was help this was to help us decide what we need to film for our trailer. We researched adulthood, a film which is the same genre as ours, social realism, and we noted the pace and order of, of the acts when they appeared in the trailer. This is to help us decide the order of our trailer and which scenes we should use from which act in what order for our trailer. The beginning of this trailer has scenes from the previous film as this trailer is for a sequel. The close-up of the character's face was used to show emotion of the character. Then there were quick shots throughout the film's life, showing snaps of actions to intrigue a potential audience. A lot of action shots were used such as, such as slaps, fights, arguments, running and emotion on faces. Again, all used to intrigue audience but also try and get the audience to relate to the characters. Wanting to know why they're arguing, why they're fighting, why they're crying, laughing. Throughout the trailer, there was use of many different camera shots and angles which make the trailer more interesting to watch. This particular trailer used mostly shots from Act 2 and 3, where the most of the action is. By researching Nick Lacey, we were able to follow the conventions we, he had mentioned to ensure our trailer was following the correct conventions for our genre. Iconography is visual sounds, is visual sights or sounds associated with the film. Mise en scène is typically location settings and lightings. When filming our trailer, we thought about the mise en scène for our genre and we decided we would film in stereotypical places where gangs would hang out, such as run-down areas, around block of flats, under the pit, etc. Characters, costumes and performance. We also thought about the costumes that our characters and we decided to dress them in stereotypical clothes of a gang member which are tracksuits. Track However, because our, of our narrative we wanted some way of being able to symbolise which gangs, gang the boys were in and we decided to dress them differently to identify which gangs they were in, therefore the boys from the east side gang wore tracksuits and the boys from the west side gang wore jeans. Another convention of a trailer is to have a soundtrack. We related the type of music we had for our trailer to the genre of our film. After researching, we discovered that most social realism trailers have more than one soundtrack, therefore we included two soundtracks.
We also included a voiceover to help explain the narrative. We used our main character's voice to make it more powerful and include the audience more as the characters would be talking to them. Everything is against me. It ain't easy. Constant fear of gang violence. Growing up in a foster home is hard. Another convention of a trailer is to include a montage towards the end by including the pace, increasing the pace. We researched and analysed a film magazine cover for Empire magazine as that is the magazine we intended to use for our film promotion. This was because after researching the Empire magazine, we discovered that our potential audience read this magazine. Therefore, it would be a good magazine to advertise our film, as it would reach our target audience. As you can see from the data, 75.5% of magazine readers are male. 35.3% of them are aged between 18 and 24 years old. This is our target audience. Therefore, by advertising our film on Empire magazine, we would reach our target audience. By analysing a film magazine cover, which was advertising a film of the same genre as ours, helped us design our own magazine cover following the correct, conven correct conventions. These types of magazines are there to provide information about past and present films. Best-selling magazines such as Empire focus on populist, populist titles which attracts a wider target audience. These magazines are read mostly by passionate film fans. The male gender is also said to make up majority of the readers. This could be because of large imagery and little text, which has been said to appeal more to males than females. Nice Kidot Hood's film poster to help us design our own poster. Having a starred rating and a quote, most probably from a review to, sh to show off how good others think the film is. The costumes of the characters suggest the film of the suggest the genre of the film, social realism. As when we see teenagers in trackies, tracksuits, trackies, holding bats, we think of stereotyp we think stereotypically. The title of the film is big and bold with a distinctive font and having all the letters in capitals except the I makes this easily recognisable too. The prop of the bat indicates that there is going to be going to be action. A fight, this is used to attract the type of audience member who enjoys watching films with action slash fights. The building in the background sets the sets the setting as they look like blocks of council estate flats. The dark dull colours used throughout the posters suggest that it has some kind of tragedy. tragedy. Not a bright happy film. As the release dates date big and bold in a simple white font which really stands out on a dark background. Um, when we were analysing Kid Art Hood's film poster we noticed that they had a tagline for their film which we thought was very catchy. Therefore we decided to create a tagline for our film. We decided to use a question as our tagline to involve the audience and get them thinking about the narrative and wanting them to know more. Therefore, they would, would be in, intrigued. intrigued and may watch the film.